Hello learners, welcome to NIS studio, I am Dr. Anjana Agarwar. Now we will talk about dietary modifications. This is very important because this is a crucial thing. People are used to have certain pattern of diet in their life since their childhood according to their culture, according to their taste and whatever they have been eating since their childhood in the family. Many times the people do not know how much diet I should take and this is a very common question in everybody's mind and ask what should I eat to be healthy? What should my child eat? Now in this video we will talk about the dietary modification and according to different age, what is the meaning of modified diet? When you are having a balanced diet, there is not much need is required, but when you are facing certain kind of health issues or when you do not know what kind of diet is required for me which can fulfill my nutritional requirement to be healthy then one person need to think and with this kind of video you can learn what can be done to alter my diet to be more balanced and healthy. So modified diet is a diet that can be altered by including or excluding certain food items. Alter the calories and the nutrient content. Bring changes in the consistency and frequency of eating. Why should I modify my diet? It is okay, I am happy with my current diet. But I keep on learning about the good diet, balanced diet which suits me in the future also. So, why it is needed? To maintain the good nutritional status, to correct nutritional deficiencies, to decide change in the ingredients, to modify the consistency and to bring change in my body weight and other things. It can change the body weight, it can save the time money and efforts, helps in speedy recovery if there are any kind of health issues and for better growth and development. There are two methods through modification in the diet and through food exchange system. Let us learn first through modification in the diet that can also be done by three ways. Quantitative modification of the diet, qualitative modification of the diet and frequency of eating. First we will talk about the quantitative method. You increase the or decrease the portion size, whatever amount you are eating in a particular meal that is portion size. If we define it portion size is the amount of particular dish eaten at a meal. It is little different from the serving size. Normally serving size are standard and portion size is the amount inside your plate which you are comfortable to eat till your hunger is satisfied. Why we need the portion size control? It can provide a smaller or larger portion, change in the size of the serving bowl. You can eat the same amount in this bowl also, you can eat the same amount in this size of the bowl also and that will 
give you a different kind of appeal to the food and if you want to have a lesser amount of food but you are not satisfied with that small portion of the meal or dish you need to serve that in a larger size of the serving bowl. Portion size can be also controlled by change in the consistency. Sometime when the, there is a change in the consistency required during infancy or childhood, you will learn just now, child need a small amount of food but requirement are large. So, we need to reduce the consistency and make the food nutrient dense. You can also change the volume or the weight of the ingredient also as I just told you, you can increase the volume with the same amount of the food. There is also change in the method of food preparation. For example, one is advised to eat 2-300 gram of fruits, but the person cannot eat so much of fruit in a day even. So, what is the advisable? That fruit can be extracted into the juice so that that much amount of fruits can be consumed. When we are talking about the qualitative modification of the diet, what we can do it? Quality can be changed in terms of energy and the nutrients because this is not visible. Size of the bowl was visible, quantity of the food was visible. Quality means there is a change in the energy and the nutrient and there is also a change in taste and flavor. For example, nutrient for energy, protein, iron is changed or increased during pregnancy. How you can do the change in energy and nutrient and when it is required? There is a high demand of energy and nutrient in case of infancy, though the quantity it required is less, but the nutrient required are more. Childhood, pregnancy and lactation, adolescence, sports and other intensive activities. There is a change in taste and flavor required on and off. Addition or deletion of the sugar, salt, spices, seasoning not only modify the taste and flavor of the meal, but they also influence the health status or disease. For example, if you keep on adding the sugar to a meal to a diabetic person, that is not advisable. If you keep on adding the salt, in case of a hypertensive person, it is not advisable. If you keep on adding the spices to a young child who may not like it, cannot digest it, then it is not advisable. So, we have to delete these items, see the condition of the person. There is a also need for the change in the frequency of the meal. What is frequency of meal? Frequency of meal is the number of meals eaten in a day. Children usually have a small appetite. They like to eat frequently, not large meal in one sitting. Some people like to eat only two, three times, but full meal. But others need to have a small meals five, six times a day. There are need to learn about the dietary modification in different age groups. What are the factors which affects the planning for the modification? Age, gender, activity level, physiological status like pregnancy, lactation, these are natural changes in the physiological status. 
and nutritional status or the health status. An adult person require a normal balanced diet. Of course, everybody needs a balanced diet, but with the change in factors we have just talked, there is a little change in the other factors also. During pregnancy or lactation, there is a need for extra amount of energy, protein, iron, folic acid and other nutrients. During infancy, there is a need for soft diet, but nutrient dense foods. For older people also there is a need for change in the consistency. So, they need soft food, digestible food because they may have the problem with the denture or digestive problems there may be. Anemic person there is another problem with the health condition. So, you require iron rich diet which should also include lots of vitamin C. Let us see the infant. Normally till the age of 6 months mother's milk is advisable, thereafter it is not enough. So, what is needed? Infants need extra nutrient for their growth. They cannot eat large amount of food, so their food should be less in quantity, dense in nutrients, liquid or very soft in consistency, mild flavor and not so strong and very little amount of spices like just sugar or salt or uh, whatever the family meal and that we are talking about the food after 6 months of the age. So, infant diet up to 6 months is exclusive mother's milk, after 6 months mother's milk plus complementary food that means you need extra amount of food. Nowadays we are using the word complementary food, earlier we used to have the word weaning food. So, weaning is a gradual process of shifting the child from breast milk to the normal family food. So, after 6 months it is very much required, after 6 months just initially the liquid food in the form of juice, soup or milk can be given. Between 6 to 9 months of age the semi solid food like khichdi, ghee, mashed banana or mashed potato can be given. At the age of 9 to 12 months the solid foods can also be introduced in the diet of infant like khichdi, egg dal, fruits, chapati in later months of the age, cooked vegetables and the dairy foods. So, one dish can be prepared for the infant because variety of foods cannot be eaten by the infant because he or she is also dependent on others to feed in and cannot give in. So, what you can do it in and you have to give the nutrient dense also. So, example is shown here, you can prepare the khichdi containing the rice, pulse, vegetables in a grated form and some amount of fat can be added to it. Now, we will talk about the dietary modification for the children who are going to the school. They are indulged in lots of physical activities, academics, so they need energy rich foods. When we are talking about in terms of the nutrition, they need high calorie, high protein with plenty of vitamins and minerals. When we are selecting the energy rich food for them, we need to be very careful what is the real source of the energy. They should not be encouraged or given the empty calorie foods or the soft greens or the confectionery like this because they, these things 
may be liked by the children, but they are not nutritious at all. In the diets of the children, the breakfast and the school tiffin are very, very important meals for them. And their meal should be tasty and nutritious. One should not think that they are children, they can eat anything. No, their taste and nutrition is very important for them. That will help them to grow and develop very well. Now, we will talk about little more growing age of adolescence. This is again a growth spurt. Lots of changes are going. They are very much attached with their body images. We will talk about it. But due to their growth spurt, they need high calorie, high protein food, rich in calcium, iron and other vitamins and minerals too. The quantity of food intake is increased to meet their rapidly changing body needs. They like to eat the food which is either advertised in the media, available outside the home and what their peer group eats. But the overall message has to be instilled in their minds that fast food and snacks, whatever they are eating should be nutritious. As I just told you, peer group influence their food intake. Since adolescents are governed by their body images and they indulge in starving, crash dieting, erratic eating by some or the other means, but those habits should be discouraged, otherwise they may develop some kind of eating disorders. Now, we are just showing an example of the whole day meal and how you can modify a family meal for a day for different age group or men and women so that you can understand how you can do the modification. For example, it is typical Indian menu and trying to include the nutritious food items into it. For example, there is a need for the breakfast. Of course, during breakfast, what can be the menu? There is a alu paratha, boiled egg or sprouted pulse raita. Those who do not eat the egg, they can increase the amount of pulse or sprouts or the, they can also have the increase amount of curd. So, that two items are given here. Two parathas can be eaten by a elder man. However, one is more than enough for a woman. The amount of raita can be the big katori and that amount can be reduced for as medium katori for raita. When we are planning, so for the lunch, we are having the chapati, urad dal or any other dal, methi alu ki sabzi or fruit salad. See, in this lunch, we have chosen the cereal as chapati, pulse group as urad dal, in vegetables, we have chosen one green leafy vegetables and one tuber vegetables and fruit salad is there and the fat used in the balanced meal of food groups is used in preparation of these food items. So, four chapati can be reduced to two for the others, one big katori or one medium katori dal, one small katori and one medium katori for the women. See the twist here. 
because the women require more amount of iron which is provided here through the fenugreek or methi leaves. Hence, the amount is increased in case of the women. One orange is given to both of them, it is more than enough. When we are preparing the plan for the evening tea, simple tea is there, one cup for each is enough and one big katori of suji upma has been selected as an evening snack here, which is given to both in equal amount. In case of the planning for the dinner, which is most of the time is similar to the lunch, so that the whole amount of nutrients can be provided and one person can relax and have the dinner. So, chapati, two for both of them, rice, half plate and the quarter of plate for the women because the women do not require so much of energy and nutritional requirement for energies for men and women are little different. Rajma curry is required for both, it will provide the nutrients and the large amount of protein. Cauliflower vegetables is equally divided and the fruit custard, so it will also be the same for both. So, here we have just differentiated in terms of the rice only. So, this is an example of the one day meal plan to fulfill not only the taste, to fulfill not only the palate we used to have it in our country and it is providing the balanced diet in every meal that is very very important. So, mainly Three meals per day are essential breakfast, lunch and dinner. This is a sample picture for the meal. Here you can see the chapati, some amount of sabzis, fruits, custard. Now we will talk about for old people also because they require some changes in their diet for their changes in their physiology. So, gradual change in the body brings the alteration in the nutritional requirement also. They need less energy and fats as compared to when they were adult. Requirement of protein and the other nutrients remain the same. Please check this point again. Only change in energy is there, but other nutrients are more or less same. They can have lots of water and fiber to check their many health problem, but they need soft diet for easy chewing and easy digestion. Now we are talking about the modification of the diet that can be done by changing the ingredient, changing the nutrient composition changing the consistency of the diet and different age group as we have focused on the infancy, young child that is preschooler, school going child they require intensive food care in their breakfast and the tiffin because they spend lot of energy during in the school time, adult diet and adolescents are very very crucial age to select the right kind of the food so that it is not at that age, but that will reflect in the adulthood and elderhood also. We have also talked about a sample meal plan for a day and how you can modify in terms of the consistency, serving size or the portion control. I hope you have understood and you can do the minor changes and still have the tasty, nutritious, balanced diet and make your life more healthy. Thank you very much.